So as you can see from your screens, this is a different style of video. There's a couple of reasons for this. Number one reason is to test out a new mic that I have because I generally use headsets for the mic, which I get absolutely, um, I, got a, I get a lot of flack about that. So I'm using an actual mic and I'm going to need to adjust the settings on it, I suppose. So this is going to be a tester video to see what it's like and I'm going to have to adjust its settings and all that stuff. It's a bit of a nightmare for me. I hate adjusting settings and stuff, but I'll have to do that. So I'll have to play around with it, but this video is a good tester for that. So if you're not subscribed, make sure that you do subscribe for more radio voice content like this. So this video is to promote, first of all, this website called gm.report, Grandmaster Report. So it's like Rave Report, but it's a website for Grandmaster Nightfalls. Really simple. So for players with Grandmaster Nightfalls, when you're doing them week upon week, especially when it's a new season, I think it's a good thing to use this website to quickly establish what you're doing with that Grandmaster Nightfall. So if we see here, look, I mean, imagine you're logging on as of week 17 now, and you say, oh, Weapon, the slammer's up. I know a lot of you knew the slammer was up, but not every week everyone knows what the Nightfall weapon is. People have to ask on Reddit. People ask people, what's the Nightfall weapon? No one knows why, because D2, D2 doesn't tell you. It doesn't tell you in-game what the, what the current Nightfall weapon is. It, it, it doesn't, you can't look at it. It doesn't even tell you what the GM is. So on the modifiers, it says Nightfall. All right, what nightfall is it? it? I don't know. D2 is, I don't know. It's just a nightfall. Well, which one? I need to know. And then you've got to load it up and see where it is. I know it's on a rotation, but not everyone knows the rotation, let's be honest, because not everyone uses third-party things, third-party sites, or follows the Conqueror seal to that degree to know every week. So use this website, because it tells you the surges, solar, solar surge, Stacy surge, champions are overload, unstoppable, arc threat. So it's so visualless, then I think it's really good because you can log on in 10 seconds. You can establish how quickly your loadout is going to be. Overcharge, rocket launchers, got you. I'll get a rocket on. Although you probably got a rocket on anyways. But do you know what I mean? It's really good to look at. So at Reset Days, use this website for newer players because it establishes quicker what champs you need to kill and what the surges is and what the weapon is that you want to farm. So I just thought I'd mention that. Getting on to the other subject is what I, what I thought would be really cool is going through the top 100 players for solo GM clears in the world. Not in England, not just in USA, not just in France, but in the world. This is worldwide. This, this website's very good for stats. It's good for stat tracking, and it's, they do a better job of it than what probably Bungie does. So... The guy who made this, by the way, is very clever, this website. So fair, fair play to him. So like I say, make sure you, 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 you get an account with this site and everything. You may as well. So going into the stats, right, so you go to leaderboards here. Now, there's a lot you can do, this, do with this. It's not just to look up players, but it's also to look up the history of the game because it has seasons all the way to back to season 10, and these are Grandmaster Nightfall. So you can go back all the way then and look at what people, the clears was then. Because if you look at the clears in Season 10 for Grandmaster Nightfalls, as opposed to Season 23, you'll see that the number was a lot less. Because the Grandmaster Nightfalls were exceedingly difficult in Season 10 compared to Season 23. And the stats don't lie. The stats will show you that. I'm not, this, that's, not, that's not what this video is about. I'm just saying that you can do cool little things and have a play with stats. It also has Sunset GMs on, like Hololaya. Give you an example. So Hololaya, who has the most clears for... Hololaya team runs. Well, this guy does. Mena PB. 420 clears on Hololaya. That's insane. Hololaya was an exceptional, tough Grandmaster Nightfall. Probably tougher than any GM in the game right now. He's got 420 clears on it. Next guy's a troll. 194. Insane. That's just one re. You can do all sorts with it. And then you've got your types. You've got your fire team runs, sherpas, solo clears, speed speed runs, solo speed runs, duo speed runs. We're going to focus today on solo clears. But I will say about the clear sections, just to as a bonus. So the player with the most amount of Grandmaster Nightfalls under their belts 
is a player called Stump with 7,721 clears on a Grandmaster Nightfall. This is an insane amount of number. Second place is Equigan at 6,137. It's quite insane that he's still second and the guy isn't playing D2 anymore for reasons I'm not going to go into this video about. That's insane. But what this is, this highlights a... I'm not making an example out of him because I don't want to sound like that, but this presents a very good point to me to present to you. And the point is that when you're doing fire team clears, he was doing it for GM carries. So he had a money reason and a reputation reason for this. It wasn't just that he wanted to be high on the leaderboard. He just happened to be high on the leaderboard because he'd been chasing the two goals, money and subs and fame, which is fine because we're all, we're all really doing that anyway, so I'm not calling for that. But I'm just saying that there's an upper skill limit with that. You reach a ceiling on Grandmaster Nightfall Fire Team runs where you gain no more skill. This is when you need... Listen, when you're the cleverest man in the room, you maybe need to be in another room. Right? And what do I mean by that? Well, he need, he, he Quagan should have stepped into the solo GM realm, and he didn't. And I know that he didn't because he's not on any of the numbers. He maybe did solo one GM or maybe three, but not enough. Like, he never really fully give his skills to the test because he just done GM carries. That's fine, and you're helping people out, and that's the way to grow. Like, look at Maddox. But for the rest of you, don't fall into this trap of only doing fire team clears. You need to experience a solo GM. To get that upper limit of skill, you, you want to get it? Well, you're going to have to step into the solo realm and solo them. And that's just a point about it. But Equagan wasn't wanting to be the best player in the world. He was just wanting to help people out, make some money, and gain some fame. And I'm not calling him for such things. I'm just saying it's a good example of where he maybe should have stepped into a different realm and advanced his skills a bit, and he didn't. That was a problem. And I'll stand by that. It was. It was for him, but it doesn't matter. Things are thing things are things turn out the way it did. So let's look at solo clears, right? So solo clears, I'm going to announce the top 100 players, right, of the most solo GM clears that they that, that they have in the world. So the the number one solo GM player in the world for clears is this guy here or girl. I'm not sure. I'm not sure on the language, but they have 1163 clears. Second place has 904, uh, five, 5 Psy at 904. Then third place drops to 387. Now look at these two numbers. These look, they look as slightly suspicious. I have looked at his stats. I'm not going to do that now. And it, his stats look fine. All the clears look, they don't look like he's done anything weird. So it looks like it's organic clears. Although I haven't looked through the entire thing and I wouldn't want to. I'm not that bothered about it. But if it is legit, that's an insane amount of solo GM clears. It's an insane amount. It's incredible. So that player, I don't know if they stream, but they should be. If that's their case, they should be streaming. They should be worth a fortune. Because literally, they're, they, they must be one of the best players in the world. So going on to number two, 904 clears. Same deal as number one. Third place, Sensei at 387 clears. Looks like the most organic number to me. Fair place to him. They also have a little badge here because of the GM report signing thing. Fourth place, Meta at 352 clears. He literally was Meta, wasn't he? Fifth place, Unknown Mystery Man. I'll give you a 10 if you can guess who it is. 349 clears. Sixth place, Tide, 287 apiece. Again, two foreign players. Well done to them. Eighth place, Ponzu-214. 267 clears. Goosters, 241 clears at 9th place. 10th place, another foreign player at 240 clears. 11th place at Legatus Maximus, 235 clears. 12th place, Nikki Venner, 2201 clears at 234 clears. So 234 clears at 12th place. 13th place, Bugger Lover at 230 clears. 14th place, Mr. Pink at 229, just one behind. 15th place, Titan Titan AE at 223 clears. 16th place, Mystery Man 
at 213. I'll give you £7.50 if you can guess who that is. 17th place, 1 second 13 at 206. Now, I don't recognise any of these players until maybe 1 second 13. I think I've seen this player. I think it, the name rings a bell to me, and I might have seen them on YouTube. I'm not certain on that, but it's ringing a bell in my mind. 18th place, Pat Dash E, which was also a super charitable person, is 200 clears on the dot, so they don't need to do a 201. They're fine at 200. Right? 19th place, Guardian at 197. There was sort of a. When the bungee names changed, there was a couple of people started naming themselves Guardian, which I thought was kind of lame because you are a Guardian. Why would you then call yourself Guardian? It's. That, that, I'm not bothered, like, I don't know who this is, there is one expert guardian that's called Guardian, and I think it might be him, but I'm not 100%, I'm just saying, people who call themselves Guardian, it's like, it's, it, they're trying to be satire about it, but it's not really hitting it for me, like, it just seems a little boring if I'm being honest, but fair place to them, whoever it is, at 197 clears, 20th place, BM, a BMW, at 20th place, 195 clear. Well, you're not competing with a BMW, are you? They are definitely going to do the solo GMs very easily. They'll just run over the ads. So this 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 BMW should be higher. I don't know why. 21st place is joint between Squabber and Vendetta. I don't know who Squabber is, but I do know who Vendetta is. So Vendetta is an exceptional player, probably born on planet Venus. And probably doesn't is not origin to this planet because there's not many humans or players that are going to be able to compete with him speed wise or just anywhere in the end game realm for Destiny 2. An exceptional player that you should be checking out on both Twitch, YouTube, subscribe to him, do all that stuff that you need to. Because if I was Vendetta and I had the skill that he had, I would be I would be complaining for more viewership. Might not be the right way about to go about things, but I would still be complaining about it because literally one of the best players in the world. 23rd place, Shorty at 185. 24th place, Arch Eskimo at 184 clears. 25th place, Idob at 167 clears. 26th place, Spruce at 165. 27th place, Joe Disu at 164 clears. 28th place, Essay at 158 clears. 29th place, joint, Hakamara 5-5 five, five at 144, and then a deadbeat at 144 as well. So obviously that's me, right? Now, this number is decent. I knew it was well over 100, and I didn't know what number it was because I obviously wasn't really keeping an eye on this. But 144 is nice. It's decent. I'm top 30 for this, which... For the time and effort I've spent on it, I would hope that I am in the top 100 for it. And I am, so it's decent. This could be way higher. I haven't farmed GMs, solo GMs, in, 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 in terms of numbers. But I have farmed them for content, that is for sure. For people who are around in the season of The Haunted, I was actually going to orbit and not killing bosses and completing GMs. So the rule was, I get to the end, get the boss killable... To, so to the point that if the boss um, could be killed, I could kill him. And I was going to orbit, which meant I was losing clears for content. The reason for this was because I was keeping G Grandmaster Nightfall checkpoints to do the GM again on many GMs. This was during the season of Classy of Restoration and probably accounts for 10 missed clears. So it is what it is. Like, it, it doesn't make much much odds, but I'm just stating that I actually have a higher number of clears well, technically, if I'd completed those, but I was keeping the checkpoint for content. People who were around will know what I'm on about. If you weren't around, you won't understand what I'm on about. 31st placed, Nasukan at 141 clears. Now, I, I actively know this player, as in the content that he does. And this, this player does a lot of off-meta stuff and meta stuff and somehow this player just seems to do amazing with off meta stuff and fast. Like I've seen a lot of his, his runs over the years. And this player I believe to have completed every single Grandmaster Nightfall there is in the game. Whereas 
this guy with nine or four, we don't know if he's completed every single Grandmaster knife all in the game. I mean, I can look up the stats. I'm not going to, though, right? But I'm just saying that you need to check him out. He's on YouTube. I think he might stream as well. I'm not 100%, but he definitely does YouTube. It's somebody that you need to check out. They're an exceptional player. 32nd place, max 456XX, 1,308 clears. Hedgehog at 33rd place, 136 clears. Gorilla Mobster at 136 clears joint with Hedgehog. So Gorilla Mobster's in a unique situation because he's, he's a fellow that hasn't had good health. So he's had really poor health and he's of up in the ages, in the 50s. Right, some of us are in the 30s and 20s doing this. He's doing it in his 50s and badly, poorly. So for him, for a, for him to do this, to do 136 solo Grandmaster Knife All clears while poorly is exceptional for him. Through, if you were to look at it from his perspective, a lot of years are in good, perfectly health. Right. Not all of you are, because I don't know all of you, but I know a lot of you are in good health and have good reaction speed, but yet you won't do solo GMs. You complain to me. You complain, some of you complained to me on the last solo GM i done. This takes an hour. I ain't doing this. The run was 40 minutes, dude. Is 40 minutes an hour? They're two different things. They're just over-exaggerating times. Now we're talking about two different things. People complain to me all the time about GMs. Oh, it's this time. Oh, was it 33 minutes? I'm not doing it. Well, well, what if the run was 31, would you have? What's your limit? It sounds to me that you haven't got one. You want 15 minutes, and if it's not that, then you're not doing it. And then you look at a guy like this who's poorly and has done 136 GM clears. Some of you need to hang your heads in shame if you're somebody that has complained to me and you're in good health and chip and you've got the reaction speed and you, you can't solo GM. But yet yeah, this guy has had all the patience in the world. He's been poorly and he's still done that amount of clears. So sometimes you've got to look at yourself and think, are you doing what you're supposed to or can? Are you pushing yourself enough? The answer is, for most of you, probably not. So just take him as an example. He does YouTube, so he's, that's his name there. 35th place, screws loose, 81 at 135 clears. 36th place, roasty my toasty at 132 clears. 36th place, mystery man, I'll give you £2.50 if you know who it is. 132 clears, which is tied with Rossi Maitosi and Stide, same number. Phenom, 39th place at 131 clears. Shivlaz at 127 clears. 41 place, Saucy Spaghetti at 126 clears. 42nd place, Mystery Man, I'll give you £1.99 if you know who that is. 125th place. Foreign play at 123rd place. And then 44th place, ATP at 120 solo GM clears. With a first badge like Saucy Spaghetti for signing to GM or whatever, which is, it's, that's decent, isn't it? It's supporting the website earlier on. So ATP, if you don't know who ATP is, he's, he's called all the players. So this guy is a very exceptional player and he's probably akin to where Vendetta came from, which is from Venus, and probably he's born on a separate planet because... The strategies that these guys involve in their gameplay, especially speedrun-wise, is sometimes well ahead of anyone else. And their in-game their in-game Destiny 2 IQ is off the charts. When you're really into in-game stuff and you've been into it yourself and then you go and watch somebody else, you start to question if you're even good yourself at all. Because they come out with some strats that are just absolutely, like I say, the ATPs, your vendettas, your salt of grey balls. They come out with some amazing strategies. So that's a lot of solo GM clears, right? And obviously all this is based on when you start because season 10 is when it started. So I don't. most of these players probably didn't start in season 10. They might have started in season 12, 13. But it's an impressive amount of clears, but the amount of content he's done in those 120 will be is impressive. A lot of stuff. So check out his YouTube, his Twitch. You need to do all that stuff. You should know who he is if you want to get better at Destiny 2. 45th place, Radar Adept, 119. Well, if if he's Adept, he's going to get buffed, in he, next month, which will push him up to 22. So that's fair play. 46th place, Mart XD at 118 players. This game sucks and so does dot dot. 46th place at 118 players. 
48th place at Antoine, 114 clears. 49th place, Helmy at 110. 50th place, Ja C at 108. Joint with Wolf Strider NYC. 52th place, a foreign player at 105. Joint with My Mind Block, Danny Legion. 55th place, St. G1 at 104. Clears Phoenix, 55 at 104. Joint with a foreign player. And then 58th place, a female player by the name of Miss Blitz VI. Which she's also super charitable, apparently, by this little icon here. So, it's good in a game, because I believe Destiny... I don't know the stats, but it seems to be people on YouTube and Twitch. Like, for this type of content, it's mainly male-based. There is female players out there, but not a lot of them are doing solo GMs. A lot of them are doing raids, but not a lot solo GM. This, this female player in particular... I showed off a lot of different skill sets that you can use to better your game, like glaive gameplay, especially an expert on glaives, which a lot of you aren't because because there's no flashing lights on the glaive and you want a fusion, you think glaives are bad. There's a whole history thing with glaives on what they do and what they can't and how to handle them and how they are actually a grandmaster knife or weapon. And that's what I've seen best off from her, but she's done a lot of GMs, obviously, uh, you know, bypassing the 100 mark, and and I believe a lot of them are battleground ones as well. Pretty much every Grandmaster Nightfall being done. So make sure you subscribe to her and follow and whatever you, and what have you. 59th place, Future Armor BR at 101. Below 100 clears, Yo 3NK at 99. Diamond at 99 clears. 62 players, Scepter at 98. Rookie, 63rd place, 97 players. Subject dash X at 63, 97 clears. Now, I believe Subject dash X to be an interesting, unique player. He does YouTube and Twitch, I think, but he's very on a small scope. But that doesn't mean his skills on a small on, on a small scope. It's actually the opposite. Very skilled and talented player. And if you can read players, it would be good to watch him to see how he does things because he just seems to play a GM like a strike almost. A, a, an exceptional player, honestly, and maybe not as many as 900 clears, but that doesn't take away from what he's doing, and I've saw, I've saw the things he's done. 65th place, Loom, 96 clears. Mena PB, 95. It was the guy who had the hollow layer clears at 420. Incredible. Xanth, 66th place, joint with Leopard at 95. Now, Leopard, if you watch Twitch at all, you should know who Leopard is, and he sold every single Grandmaster Knife Fall. Again, he hasn't got as much as some other players, but he's still well within the top 100 list, and he adds a lot of com comedic value when he's doing his Grandmaster Nightfall. So not only is he solo in a GM, he's entertaining a thousands of people on Twitch. So you've got to give him that. And and I think his interesting take with green, using green sc screens and backseat gamer thing and all that, he has ideas that other people aren't doing. He's thinking outside the box. And he's decent, and he's sarcastic, and I like it. So Leopard's, Leopard's a great player, especially to watch on GMs. Might be one of the most entertaining GM players to watch. Put simply as that. 69th place, Gabucho, 94. 69, not meta, 94. This is ironic. 69th place, Joint, Derpy Cat, 94. Far, Far Bigo, 93rd place. 73rd place, Quandillion, 92 place. Les Leslie. 1986, 92 players. Shifty, 91 players. I think this might be PV Shifty, who used to do YouTube YouTube content, but I'm not 100% certain on that because it's a different, slightly name. D slightly different name, I'm not sure. 76 players, Sleepy 9P at 90 uh, clears. Juzo, 90 clears. Mystery Man, I'll give you 99 pence, if you know who that is, at 90 clears. Killing for Kid, 89th players. 80th place, Mystery Man, I'll give you £2.60 if you know who that is. 88th place, Joint with Whack. Butters, 82 place. I believe it's the same Butters who does Twitch and YouTube, which if it is that guy, he also has a lot of IQ in D2 as well, to be honest. So he's somebody that you should follow and stuff. I haven't watched much of his stuff, but I'm aware of him. So he has 87 clears. Orc Sinner, 86 clears. Ghost, 
86 clears. King size, 85 clears. Foreign player at 84 clears. Vandal, 87 place at 83 clears. Joint with a foreign player. 87 place, also joint. 83, Omega, joint. 91st place, Helios, 82 clears. Foreign player at 81 clears. Neutral bands at 81 clears. Joint with unknown man, who I'll give you £2.40 if you know who that is. TG at 92nd place at 81 clears. Right, so this player TG was a very talented expert Grandmaster 9 4 player. Exceptional. One of the best Grandmaster 9 4 players I've ever saw play. I don't think he plays them. I don't even, I, th- I don't think he plays Destiny 2. Right? And yet he still makes top 100. This guy was solo in Grandmaster Nightfall so flawlessly that his strats were unbelievable. But again, a lot of you are just checking out the bigger guys, and that's the biggest mistake. Don't just check out the big guys. You've got to check out the small guys. The problem is finding the small guys is sometimes tough. But if you actively search solo Grandmaster Nightfalls, they should be coming in your recommended if they're actively uploading. TG isn't, and I've never met the guy. I've only taught him once. But he's an exceptional player. If he ever comes back, then look out everybody else because he's 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 probably better than. I don't know how bet much better he's than everybody else, but back then he was probably better than all these players in GMs. I'm just being honest. Probably one of the best players I've ever seen play the game, and that was when grandmasters were grandmasters, the tougher ones, the ones with no resilience stats and stuff. Very very excellent. So I do know about this this player. Toasted Chicken, 96th place, 80 clears. Joint with Stogie. 98th place, Young young something, 79 clears. Cursed at 99, 78. And then we've got a mystery man. I'll give you 699 if you know who this guy is at 77 clears. I'm not going to go through the rest of the list because I just wanted to do the top 100, but obviously there's more. You can go all the way down. So if you're somebody that does actively do such things, then you'll be able to find, you might be able to find your name, or you can even search it, obviously. So, that's the top 100 players, that's me using this, um, I thought it'd be interesting to read this out, it's no criticism against any player, really, just that one point about, you do reach an upper ceiling in fire team content, and you need to then step into the solar GM realm, and then you have a new game to learn, because it is a different game. And it's a different combat experience when you're soloing than it is to fire team. But also, is speed running in a fire team? That's also different to just fire team clears. That's also a different ball game. So you maybe want to start speed running with your fire team. Once you've mastered that to a degree, you then step into the solo world and then you up your skills. This is how you progressively do it. People do. People just want a a tablet or a, a trinket of information from me to tell you how you're going to get really good. But it doesn't work like that. You need to actually do your research, play the game, and watch other players take their skills, and then you're like a chimera of a player because you've got your skills, you've got a bit of bit of this pl- player's skills in you, you've got a bit of this player's skills in you, and next thing you know, you're a brand new version of other players, and that's how you become very good at the game. So that was the top one on the list. Hope you enjoy. Thank you.